Greetings and welcome to Snowtopia. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am presenting this game because I practiced a long time so I wanted to have something to show for the practice. Um, I don't think I recommend this game and there are very specific reasons why um, and I'll show you some of the ridiculousness that goes on with this um, because it's a really... you know what I think it could be a really interesting game but they just kind of like did weird decisions. So let's go ahead and start a brand new game here. And let's go to like, hmm, Crater Lake. I don't know, maybe Wavy Valley. I'm looking at access to ski slope, ski zones. Um, yeah, let's, or three, three access points. They all have three. Oh, this one has four. This one has three. Crater Lake. Yeah, let's try Crater Lake. Let's try Crater Lake. I haven't tried it, um, but yeah, there's there's some really strange things that you have to do in this game, and I don't get it. We already played the tutorial. Yeah, and you can check out my um, my video on this. Whoa, okay, okay, there we go. Okay, there's the Crater Lake. We have, it looks like a couple of ski resort areas. One's here, one there, and there's one over here. Why don't we start right by the lake? Now, the weird thing about this game is that you can only build or the, the people will only walk around in this rocked area. So they won't walk around the little village where they're supposed to have their little ski huts and stuff like this. The only way to get them walking in this area is to like literally build building after building after building around. And I, th I find that ridiculous. Um, I wish this game had a sort of thing like a, a sidewalk kind of situation or something like that because it is, and the, the rotation is absolutely stupid. So if you want to put this building down, you rotate it by the entrance of the building. That is just like, it doesn't even make sense to me. Um, I, I hate that. It just, is terrible or you can rotate the camera around the building or no you can't actually that's not working but let's try to put it here it is so difficult to actually put buildings down because of this and uh i just i just do not get this at all it's terrible just terrible okay let's put down our first building here and and i'm not trying to trash the game by the way i'm just giving you my experience in playing this game for about three hours in practice session um and i'm going to show you how awkward this is just just you wait okay so we need to start making some ski slopes and the weird thing about this game is that it is very like there's no economics whatsoever at all the only limiting factor you have is volunteers which are basically people who volunteer to run your business and i'm like okay we do have several different kinds of lifts we have a fixed grip tow rope um one person detachable and two person fixed grip chairlift so this looks like it's in need of a chairlift i think so we can go maybe up here can we initially you won't be able to conquer the steep slopes until you get some form of um some upgrades via your research center. Okay, so we have this chairlift. Now that's going to get built by our uh, builders. So now we can build a, a ski slope off of this. So let's go ahead and go here. And people tend to like homogenous slopes. So we're going to try to go for blue here. Oh, that's a really nice blue slope, isn't it? That's kind of great. Okay, let's go for that. And then let's do another one. Maybe we'll do a large slope off the edge here. It's blocked. Okay, so let's start out here. And that one, let's just take it this way. Oh, it's blocked again. Okay, there we go. We're going to have that one going down that way. You can share these chairlifts and stuff with various, uh, various, uh, various slopes. Now then, we're going to start having people. Um, we're waiting for the builders. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hopefully they will come out and get our stuff going on. Okay, so our, our, our ski slope is built. And hopefully we're going to get some people coming out here. There we go. There's some people. There they go. Okay, they're all skiers. And the cool thing about this game, the skiers are actually dressed in the kinds of things, uh, kinds of colors that they want to conquer. So these are all blue people. They want to go on the blue slopes. They all have different kinds of um, 
uh, categories that that they fit in, and those like the same things. Like they want to ski on two different blue slopes, ski on some so many meters of blue slopes, visit a soup bar, and then they want to be in an environment that's quite nice for them. So let's go ahead and do a soup bar over here. Go ahead and uh, extend that this way. And then we'll go to a high altitude food kiosk. Sure, why not? Uh, all right, and then a sunglass shop. Put that over here. I also want to make the environment nicer. So let's put in, we can put in some, maybe some picnic tables or something. Okay, and let's get a, maybe a an umbrella. And then we also would like basic kiosk that seems nice uh i have to say that in our uh, test game i was like spamming these ibexes and stuff around there just to make nice environments for people uh okay so let's see if we can get another ski slope going on here this looks pretty gentle here this area so maybe we can do like a very small like a bunny hill um very gentle kind of like green slope here see if we can do that narrow slope over here oh that's nice look at this green all the way perfect 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 and we'll take another green one out here let's see if we can go this way maybe hello slope is blocked by the lift okay Okay, another green one. Perfect. They do like to do various uh, slopes of the same color. Okay, so now we have more blue people here. We have red people also. Now red are a step above this. They want really more challenging slopes that they can go on. So let's see what we can do with those folks. Can we get... And also we can't get any research until we get to a certain amount of stuff here as well. Gradient is too steep. No! See, we can take one maybe from here to over there. Like there. We can do that. And this is going to be probably some scary slopes coming down here. Yep, it's going to go black right there. Let's try on this side, maybe. We're looking for some red. Okay. Blocked by the lift. Blocked by the constructor lodge. There. Okay. Cool. Yep. There's a little bit of red there. Not really what I wanted there, but it's okay. Also, we need to build some mechanics, it sounds like. We also need to build some of the other things that belong on the, the, the things like a ski patrol lodge. That's important. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm some of these things ski patrol lodge up here as well can uh connect that one a bit better uh the snow groomer is also quite uh necessary to have let's put that over there now these things also some of these buildings generate negative uh feelings for the guests so you kind of want to put lots of ornaments in front of them as well so let's put the mechanics like right behind this one so they don't see it they don't go back there um okay that's all we need i think i think that's it so let's build another slope here or maybe on the other side like this side yeah we can't build an uphill slope darn it can we go underneath this we can sort of uh, at some point, you can actually build underneath the uh, the lifts, but apparently not right now. <laughs> Jeez. Blocked by accommodations. Do that. It's an interesting one. Kind of a longer ski slope. People are doing okay. Reeds, red people don't have, they don't have enough red stuff. 
They don't have enough red ski slopes yet. Can we go up here? No? Oh, there was a yellow spot here. Oh, oh, there. Wow, okay, that might be a little bit too much, though. This is like a black hill right here. Okay, blocked by the lift. Let's try the other side. I mean, there are skiers that like these kinds of really dangerous slopes. Okay, there's that one. Very good, very good. And then maybe we can have a little bit more red one here. There we go. There's a red one. Okay, cool. So then you get your, your people working on stuff. There the red people go. Fantastic. While we have them in these positions, it's nice to kind of maybe give them some decorations here that they can look at. There we go. Nice. I really hate the rotation in this game. It is so terrible. Why can't we just rotate something and then place them all the same, you know? Instead of having to rotate each and every one. Do not get that at all. So weird. Also here, I'm just going to just not rotate them at all. <laughs> I don't even care. Honestly. Okay, and then over here, these slopes are definitely marred by these thingies. I don't know if people see them as they are skiing down or if they only see them. Uh, let's see, can I? Or as they're walking or do they see them while they're skiing? Is that important to them? I don't even know. Let's put some Ibexes over here though. Give them some happy times. Yay. Different decorations do seem to have different values. Like putting in um, these lamps and stuff are much less value than the Ibexes, but they're also a much smaller uh, thing to construct. Okay, so this is definitely more, more better. More better. Yay. Yeah, and the natural scenery is also quite something that they really like. Okay, cool. So now, what we need to do is get our reputation up to the next level here. So that's something that's kind of important. Um, we can also put in more shops and more services. And maybe we expand our, uh, our zones that way as well. So let's go here. Let's get a sunglass shop. And then high altitude food kiosk, sure. Let's just expand these rocks out a bit. Soup bar, why not? Just keep on building stuff out, and that way we can have more areas to have these ski slopes. Slope is waiting for a snow groomer. Okay. You can also adjust how you want the slopes groomed and stuff like that, um, and also upgrade these different things. But first, we got to get that reputation up so that we can get those new buildings. Okay, let's see. We can take another lift over here, actually, if we want to. Um, how do we want to do this one? This is a bit steep. Ski lift too long. Okay, it's blocked by slope six. So let's put this kind of over here, maybe. Oh, there we go. We have a new thing. Perfect. So, oh man, you should have seen our absolute kind of hell we were experiencing with trying to get more land area before we figured out that you can actually make the land with the buildings. But I feel, still think it's so stupid. Like, why can't we just like claim more area or better yet, not even bother with having any area at all? Because right now, all you, you just have to like connect these rocks together. And it's like so weird that you can only do that by building a building. Um, when, when you may not even want to build a building. It's very, very strange to me, this whole thing. And I do not like that mechanic at all. Um, okay. There we go. It's mostly blue. Pretty great. Pretty great. Let's 
get some decorations in here. We can do marmots in this side here. There we go. Lots of marmots. We love the marmots today. Hooray! All right, there we go. New volunteers. And the other thing is, the volunteer thing is really weird. It's like 22 of 22. That means absolutely zero, because when we look at it, we don't actually have um, all of the volunteers we need. These were only two of four. So we're actually missing a whole bunch. This number should represent the total amount needed, I feel. It doesn't even make sense to me, this whole thing. It's very, very strange. Also, how are we to connect this area with another area like this one over here that I also don't understand. Are we supposed to just like do lifts up there and another lift over there? Or like, how does that work exactly? And I guess we could try to make another lift here. Can we blocked by slope two? Okay. So let's build, let's build a soup bar. That seems great because we have to extend the rocks. This, this I find absolutely bizarre. Like, how do you do this, devs? This doesn't even make sense. Like, it literally makes no sense at all. Okay, there's that one. Let's take another ski slope. From here. Or lift, I should say. Up here. Okay, and then we can take... I think what we'll do is we take a lift up there. We'll have a slope coming down here. Oh, this is scary times, man. Okay, and then we'll take our... Uh, another lift here. Up there. Ski lift is too long. Okay. Blocked by a slope now. All right. Slope that's too steep. Well, we really need to get it up here somehow. Wait, that's that's available. Okay, very nice. And then we'll do another one. Because uh, I want to get this... These lifts connected like this somehow. Now, I think I also want to have like a large slope that goes quite gently down this uh, thing if we can. Blocked by navigation zone. How, what is that exactly? Let's do like this maybe. Let's see, we can take this maybe just very gently. Very, very gently down. Because I want this to be available to most people. Oh, that red. That red ain't good. Uh... This is one heck of a long ride here. Can I do that? No. Can't really do that. Possible to build up hill slope. I'm aware, people! Let's go back this way and then just maybe like do this tiny, tiny little red here and then go down to the over there. Blocked by lift. Oh, I don't want to be blocked by the lift. There we go. Still blocked by the lift. No! Come on, come on. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. That's one heck of a long slope, though. Haha! <laughs> Alright, so this one... Intermediate slope. Okay, that's fine. It only has one red turn. It's actually kind of an interesting slope, that one. But now we have, we actually have the lifts to go to the other area there. Let's see if we attract a little bit more people. Oh, 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 we have people. 
I'm gonna need the ski patrol. Oh, help, help, help. Oi, ah, ow. Scary. Ow. Oh, whoops. Let me take a screenshot of this. Ow. Okay, so that's happening right now. Okay. And we need to, we can pay attention to kind of what people want. Usually if people want a lot of stuff, they'll start showing it. Um, okay, so ski lift waiting for mechanic. We might want to build another mechanics shop or not because we may just be waiting for volunteers. So let's see, mechanic workshop. Actually, they do have two of two. So I want to build another one of those, I think. Services, no. Mechanics workshop. But let's build that over here. Okay. Kind of building it in a space that's away from the general traffic of people. Okay, new volunteer. Yay, skier waiting for assistance. Yeah, we need a... Oh, we didn't have a here? Thing a thing here? A thing a thing, yeah. Mm. Ski patrol lodge. Let's build that right here. So they can go and help that, that person in need. All right, building, waiting for builders. Ah, yes. So, um... One thing that we would like to do also is just make another building hut in this area. I think that's a good idea. So we'll just chuck that on the back here. And then we'll do the same with all the other stuff. There's snow grooming hanger. That can be kind of off to the side. Sure. And then mechanics workshop. Let's put that back here as well. Okay, there we go. So all this stuff can get made. And then we're connecting one area to another, which is kind of nice. This area has quite a lot of uh, people in it, which is good. So we need to build, hopefully we're going to get there soon. We'll get the research into this stuff. And um, yeah, but looks like our people are pretty happy with stuff. We have um, a variety of ski slopes. If we click on a person, let's see what they want. This is a person dressed in blue. So they're kind of a medium. The The noobs are green, blue are more experienced, and then red, of course, is for other things. So we need to go to soup bar. Ski more blue slopes, ski on two different ones. Security appeal. So we need some security in here. We have a lot of appeal uh, going there, so that's nice. But um, getting security would be important. That I think is like the sunglasses shop for now. That's what we have for now. Okay, and then also important to get these food kiosks out here. I hate the rotation of the buildings. My God, who designed this? Like the person who designed this doesn't play games. Clearly, it's very clear. It's so weird. Like that is not how you do buildings in a freeform placement building games. Okay. All right, so that's good. Are there any people going up here? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Reputation level one. Now we get a research lab. Okay, we get all these kinds of other things. And when we get access to new ski profiles, which is quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead and build the lab over here. Why not? Let's get that one. It is also a very negative building. Okay. No, it doesn't want to be built there. Okay. Maybe in the other land over here. Like here-ish? No, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll find a place. It'll be, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll put it over here. Too steep. Okay, sure. All right. So then after that happens, we can get stuff going there. Okay. So these folks, they also, they don't have anything to, uh, to do. So we'll put in some buildings for them. Food kiosk, sunglasses shop. There we go. So then these people will have stuff to do. I'm going to go ahead and put in another lift out here if we can. Let's see. 
go right over here. Just do a very simple slope way down. Want to make it all green if we can. There we go. That's very nice. Then do another one out here. There we go. Okay, cool. Just to satisfy their need for simpler slopes. Okay, and then we also want to put a ski patrol lodge Basically, at the top of every lift, you want a ski patrol lodge. Well, this one can be up here, I think. So it can take these two slopes there. Okay, there we go. Skier waiting for assistance. Ah, yes, we need that the building to be built. But now, hopefully we can get... Oh, the research laboratory isn't quite finished yet. Okay, so these people are walking around. These people want, they have the band-aids, so that means they need protection, which is these buildings being built. We need to build these buildings. Hopefully the builder will get on the job here and uh, do stuff. Construction in progress. I don't know what that means. Whether it's, oh, it's the builder's lodge being completed, I think, maybe? Oh no, maybe they're building something else. Probably they're waiting for something else. Okay, so the research lab has been finished. Let's go ahead and choose some stuff here. The first stuff is mostly for uh, the lifts, which is kind of great. Maintenance, we have uh, movement speed, higher uh, repair training. But these are also really nice to get the uh, different kinds of shops that we can get. And I find this game a little bit weird because, like, there's no economy whatsoever at all. So nothing costs money. Not, there's no... It's very much a sandbox, the entire thing. Which, yeah, I'm not I'm not that actually that crazy about it, honestly. I don't really... Um, I, I prefer more, like, challenging games, I guess. So this is kind of like, okay, what do we got in, in here? Okay, that's blocked by a lift. Uh -huh. oh, it's still blocked. Okay, never mind. It'll be fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so now they are getting different shops, but of course the shops have limits as well. Like if you look at it, this the um the small shop has a limit of five people in there at the same time. So we need to kind of like build multiples of these uh, places. And whoever designed this stupid rotation system, oh my god, just why, why are you subjecting us to this terribleness? Like, come on, come on. It's gonna really mess with people who really like things straight. I don't really care that much, but yeah. It's a mess and a half, I gotta say. Let's see, this area, is this gonna be Ibex land? Maybe this is gonna be wolf land. Let's make it wolf land. The wolves are really beautiful. I like the sculpture, they're very pretty. Okay, that's making those there. Okay. And then this land is just chock full of negative vibes. So we need to get rid of those by putting a spam load of wolves. I find this ridiculous as well. I, <laughs> Why? I don't know. I have no clue. It's just bizarre. Okay, so we are researching stuff. We got the small fast food stand. Let's put that out. So this has a capacity of 14 skiers versus this is seven. So this is kind of a nice little building to have. So we'll put that in as well. So we now have almost 300 visitors, which is kind of great. And they're all eager to give us their ratings on our ski slopes and stuff like that. So let's go to the other area. They are actually... I don't know if they take the chairlift back. They probably don't. So we might need a slope skiing down here. Let's do that. 
Let's see if we can do this in a mostly blue way. Blocked by navigation zone. That's not great. There we go. It's a nice simple uh, slope down there. And then we can take this another slope down this way. Okay, very nice. Okay, cool. And then we can also attach these uh, ski patrol lodges on occasion. Here, there's one. There's one already up there. Okay, fantastic. Because I don't think they can take the ski lifts down. I was thinking they could, but I bet they can't. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and add... What did we need to add over here? I forgot completely. <laughs> oh yes, new services, of course. So we now have a small shelter as well. That's another nice building that is good for uh, protection. And then let's get this fast food stand as well. All right, nice, very nice. And then let's get the other thing. We have a helmet rental, raclette stand. Um, and then we can, I think we should work on the, um, the lifts afterward. Nice, look at all these skiers ready to go. Because once we get the ski uh, lifts going, actually, let's get those first. Let's get those absolutely first. And we'll get the, because uh, we have enough food stands and stuff like that. I don't think we actually need any more. I think we're pretty good on those. So this is Ibex land. Just add a few more of these. Making people super happy, super excited about being here. And chase away all this redness over here. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Much better. Problem queue. Oh, there's too many people in this queue. Well, this is where we really need to have uh, those upgrades. So we'll, we'll get that real quick. We'll get that. Yeah, it only takes two at a time, but I think we can get six at a time. So lightweight pull attention gives us faster speed. And then we want, we actually want this one. So we want the load responsive grip and then this one afterward. So we'll just make sure that we get that. Okay, no volunteer. Okay, who wants a snow groomer? It's over here. I think we have the snow groomers in here somewhere, right? There it is, snow groomer hanger two. Yep, there we go. Very nice, all right, cool. So I, yeah, I don't know. It's it's very much a sandbox game without any kind of like economy uh, that you have to worry about. No like paying people or worrying about expenses, that kind of thing. So um, I don't know how I feel about this game. I really hate the way expanding things works. Like when I first played the game, I didn't know about these other areas that you could open up. Um, and I was basically like, okay, there's nowhere to attach anything. What do I do next? And it's cause it feels very limiting when all you can do is build buildings to extend the walking zone of people. And I really feel like there should be like, just like a brush tool where you can paint and, 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 uh, and grab land around it. And by the way, this is not early access. This has released into full release as far as I'm aware. Uh, that's what the email said to me. And so it's kind of like, uh, okay, that's not great. It feels very awkward. Very, very awkward. Simple gantry. Okay. That sounds good. This is the two person fixed thingy. Let's get that one after adjustable tension. Ski toes plus appeal. That sounds good. All right. I don't know if I've done those fixed grip uh, chair lifts or not, but yeah. 
We'll see. We will see if we're allowed to upgrade them. It's on the second thingy here. Research into model uh, required. Oh yeah, that's the four person thingy that we're working on right now, actually. So soon this problem ski lift will be a thing of the past. Cool, cool, cool. Does seem like people are generally happy. There are a lot of statistics, by the way, that you can look at here. Um, we have visitors, we have their mood. Battery is basically they're too tired and they need buildings to help them recharge, like resting buildings. Because for whatever reason, they can't go back to their own like lodges where they're staying to recharge. Um, here we have attendance, we have maintenance things. Uh, lifts talks about how busy they are. We need to probably uh, upgrade those as soon as possible. Um, then we have our slopes here, perceived difficulty, attendance, and um, then we have our reputation as well. Sense of safety is really important. Skier feedback. Um, does it say click to view details? Skiers reviews. And there's not many details there, unfortunately. But our reputation is definitely growing. And then here's some feedback over here of what we can do. Snowstruck lovers, sports club kids. You can see their progress on what they've been doing and all that kind of stuff. Um, we do need some security and appeal, but we haven't unlocked those structures yet, I don't think. Oh, we have unlocked one thing, though. The better uh, modernize the ski lift. All right, there we go. Modernize, go. Got to modernize all these things, go. All right, is this one also modernizing? No. Two-person fixed surface grip ski lift gripping thingy thingy. They have names for sure that don't make any sense to me. I'm not a ski person. I've never been skiing in my life. So like, I'm just like, eh? What is this? Hello? Okay. So this one is a toe rather than like a chairlift. More research, let's go with this one. And then we'll finish up this area. And then we have to get to another level of reputation in order to do the next section. Overall, I think it's a pretty cute game, but it doesn't really have any challenge because it feels like you can't lose no matter what. I mean, I guess you can have less reputation gain if people are unhappy or something. But there's no financial anything in this game, so it's kind of like you can't lose whether you want to or not. Let's see, can we get another ski slope over here, maybe? Seems like a nice one. Okay, and now we should have no more problems because we can take four skiers at a time on these chairs instead of just two, which is gonna help us with the lift situation. Let's see, can we look at those? Is it lifts? Here we go. Yeah, there we go. This one is at 100% because that's the surface toe. Um, so hopefully that will be done soon. Okay, simple gantry is chair speed, okay. So now let's get the maintenance items done. Reclet stand. Okay, well, that's all we got. So now we can modernize the lower, uh, the tow rope ones, like this one, I think. Modernize, go. Yep. Do we have any more of those? I don't think we have one, but I'm not sure. No, we have this one here. Oh, no. Yep, there it is. Okay, take it. Go for it. So for me, the economy is too simplistic. I prefer something with like challenge because this is basically, I think more of a sandboxy kind of a game, but it is very cute. I mean, you have a lot of different decorations that you can use. Um, if you want to bird roosts, that's cool. It looks a little bit strange, but it's okay. We like birds, birds are nice. 
Now we can build the better chair lifts from the beginning, but I really like that you can upgrade the ones that you already have and you don't have to like go through the hassle of doing other things with that. So, all right, there we go. I'm not really sure how your people are intended to get from building to building, like how to get from there to over there. I, that's another thing I really don't know about. I wish we had like a, not, not a chairlift system, but like an actual gondola system where people could just like travel over the mountains to get to the other area. Um, because I feel like right now this is very, very not ideal. Very not ideal. Let's see. Could build, let's build, try to build another four person fixed grip chairlift. Sure. Want to have some like more challenging slopes here. Like more red ones. Ah, very not red there in the middle. Let's see if we can get another one. Uphill slope. Yeah. That's one of the problems I think is that you get so many of these uphill kind of like, it's hard to, hard to actually add another slope from this. So let's see if we build this ski patrol lodge up here and then maybe we can add another slope here off the side. Blocked by this one, okay. Okay, there's that one then. Okay, skier waiting for assistance is over there. Do we have a patrol lodge? We do, it's right here. Okay, interesting, interesting. So now here we're almost blocked in by slopes. So what are we going to do? I guess we have to build buildings like toward the, uh, like on the thing. It's such a strange idea. This to like extend the ski resort just by building buildings. It's very, very odd to me. This is a bigger one. Okay. Let's just mush into the landscape. Kind of what we're doing here. But yeah, I would really love to have like mountain paths or something or like some kind of a brush tool that would allow us to expand the open zone. Really don't know why it is designed the way it is. I was like, how is this not like a build option? How? You know, how does that even work? Okay. You need unavailable. Okay, that's not ideal. We need a modernization. Come on, research. The research also, uh, it just doesn't have any, like, I don't know. It's just time based. There's no cost to it or, or anything. But, um, having said that, I mean, it's a very cute, fun game. Um, it's very sandboxy though. You can maybe make a nice uh, looking resort if you're into that. Um, and that's nice too, but also check out my, uh, my, my full, like three and a half hour playthrough, if you like, and see the problems we came into. It was kind of hilarious. Uh, check that out on my shorts and longs channel, which is linked in the description below. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, I, I am posting all of my gameplay practice VODs on the shorts and longs channel and not on the main channel because of, Oh, uh, some crazy YouTube algorithm stuff. Um, so, uh, so check it out over there. It will not be posted on my main channel. Um, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. We have a lot of interesting talks and we have fun. Definitely have fun on my channel, uh, on Twitch too. Let's see, are we done? We need more stuff. Is there more stuff? There is no more stuff. Okay. So we got, we got some more food stands here. Get helmet rental. 
Oh, God. Come on. And then we have a raclette stand. I don't know what raclette is, actually. I should probably ask. Or Google it, actually. Google it is what I should do. Let's put that over here, too. Helmet rental kiosk. There we go. Chuck that over there. Very nice. Problem queue over here. Kind of wish I could, like, update this or change what it is. Hmm. Got an achievement of some kind just now. 17 people waiting. Wow. It's popular, but I feel like I should have used a chairlift or something. I wonder if I could destroy this. Let's pause. Destroy and change that to be a... Can't be built on rocks. Okay. Okay. Let's remove some of these statues. Maybe that was causing issues. I don't know. Can we do it now? Yes. Okay, here we go. Aha! There we go. But the slopes are weirdly connected. Can I move them? It's closed, closed. Crap. I think they have to be rebuilt. That's not good. All right, we have to, I guess, or could we do a building over here? A soup bar? Anyone? The smallest building is the high altitude food stand. Food kiosk. Nope, that don't work either. Eh, come on. All right, that has to be redone. So that doesn't work very well. Okay, this one. Destroy. That's a shame because, like, you know, that would have been nice to have those things historically. There we go. So that should eliminate the issues with the, the thing, at least. That's good. Hey, research free slots. Yep. Building clothes, really? Why? No volunteers, okay. I find that so strange. Like, we're running a business. Why are we relying on volunteers? But it's got to be the oddest kind of ski slope I have ever seen in my life. Like, normally you hire people because it's a high, high, high uh, money investment business. So it's like you have people. You don't rely on volunteers. You have people that you hire to make sure things run smoothly. So the whole volunteer thing seems a bit far-fetched in my universe. Come on, keep building the thing. This is a very popular slope and we need it to be here. Let's go. Let's go. I do I do like the population. That's one of the things that I have to say is seems to be really on point where I remember like in the old days Roller Coaster Tycoon and, and other similar games like you were like, oh my god, I have this great coaster that can serve X amount of people per hour. But then you don't have enough people riding the rides and it feels really like bad. Like, oh my god, there's not enough people. But it was probably because of the game limitations at the time. But still, it was like, it just felt bad. So this game seems to have quite a lot of people in it. Um, they're doing stuff. They're walking around. They're falling down on their face. <laughs> they're doing all kinds of stuff. Um, so that feels a lot better, I have to say. It feels a much, much better. Okay, builders are really having trouble, it seems like, taking them forever to get stuff going. Okay, they finished one. Why is this not working? No volunteers available. All right, well, let's put it up a bit. Wow, that's weird. Yep, not enough volunteers. But yeah, I wish they would tell us how many are needed. 
It doesn't say. Oh, max number is 120. Welcome new skier profiles to increase this limit. But yeah, we don't know how many are needed completely. It's really strange. And this didn't seem to work at all. I mean, no volunteers available. Uh, even though we upped the thing. Let's close this one. See if that one gets this one running. Nope, it did not. All right, weird. New volunteer in the resort. Yeah, for whatever reason, we're not getting any volunteers here. That's not ideal. I guess we can look at the volunteer thingy. Let's see, food buildings, rest. Let's put that at like 40% maybe. And maybe that's going to give us... Okay, more lifts. Ah, this is finally functioning. This is a good one because you have a lot of noob skiers and they really need to... I mean, we had that huge line before. But this is going to keep them busy, I think. We can put in some more Ibexes. Because we... Yeah, for whatever reason, the appeal here is not great. I don't know why. They should be happy that they have this beautiful lift i would be happy i've always wanted to ride a ski lift they seem fun really fun not so much the skiing afterwards but the lift i like the lift there we go nice all right with that said it is time to finish off this episode i hope you've had an enjoyable time watching me play this game uh thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time